Thanks for staying with us. So we're going to discuss entitlement because um, we'll discuss the curse a bit later. Mm. But let's focus on the time because it is, it's rather prevalent amongst young people. You know, millennials or even the Gen Zs now. We are the millennials. The Gen Zs, I see them. They, they, many of them, I don't want to judge, some of them that I've come across, rather they want you to continually tell them what to do. Yeah, stand up. Yeah, sit down. And take it, put the book here, put the book. They don't want to take the initiative to think of what can I do to solve this problem. You tell me what to do. <laughs> they, they wait for instructions a lot. And I'm mm. thinking, come on, when I was your age, I, I was thinking of initiative. how can I solve this problem? What can mm. I do to contribute? You know, I was thinking that way. So some young people, do, yeah, same as Cyprus, so he's fully, you must take responsibility they're responsible for every single thing my day to day. Keep. I, I, I was telling somebody earlier that if, when I was, I was working. You mentioned during the break. I was having working I, when, when, when I was in school. Well, but there was a time when I, when, I, when, I, when I became 16, my brother was after doing the party for me. Auntie, please, after the birthday party, he started to put a, a yellow lighter. I let all the Nigerian call the call to Nigeria. Auntie, these are your calls. Come on, pay. Going forward, you're, pay for you're going to be paying for them. Mm. So at the end of the month, he will give me the highlighted ones, my own bill, Nigeria bill. This is your bill. Pay it. Mm. Because that's responsibility. So um, it, it's, it's linked to the way what my aunt said earlier, that unethical behavior training because if we don't correct, we, if we did not, if we had corrected, there would have been room for training. Yeah. It, tra training would have been done. But I sensed, and from the message, what I read, there was a lot of, I feel like there was entitlement on the part of the boys. Um, they have been given an opportunity. Somebody saw you and invested money in helping you get out of the situation you found yourself. Somebody saw you, <coughs> sent you abroad, and the person told you clearly, I cannot afford this anymore. Like, I don't have money. If somebody has told you I don't have money, what should the person do? Well, like, could he have been clearer, No. Could the pastor have been clearer? Because message. that was what she was saying. There's, there's, there's I'm broke. Broke. Clearly, He's a bit open-ended. Mm -hmm. <coughs> what you are saying is the way you say millenn uh, millennials, I mean, Gen Z's want you to tell them, if you say I'm broke, I don't have money, you will not say it in 15 ways because they, they, their brain cannot process when somebody wrote, I'm broke, I am broke. What should the person do? I told you this morning, my children said that the shirt is tight. I said, I cannot buy you another shirt right now. You, the, the allowance is too small. I said, you will manage how much I give you to so, find the snack that you can buy with that money. I cannot afford more. What else should I say? No, so, what you said is more concrete. There's a beginning and there's an end. Mm. If your son has said, my shirt is tight, and you say, I'm broke, you wait for when you're not broke. But you said to him, we are not, you are managing to we are not getting well, he's a pastor, children. a general overseer. They're are thinking, not, he he didn't didn't how broke could you really be? These are so, not children. These are not children. Mm. You know, and hmm. you, they are, you have gotten to Cyprus. Somebody has taken you this far. You are old enough to take <coughs> up the journey yourself and not come on social media and start pointing fingers. Guess what? They were even asking for people to support them there. So there are, they, we, have, like, we, we have a problem as a nation. Majority of people, <coughs> we have a begging culture, beggarly culture, they will not work. You will not go and hustle. You are thinking that if I ask five, ten people, I can gather the money to do what I want to do. You want to pay school, your, your house rent, you are expecting that somebody will help me to pay my house rent. I don't believe, I, I believe that we should address that issue. Mm. If they supported you to pay house rent the first time, <coughs> BC, was, BC was saying her own plan on how she was going to continue. If I supported you once, continue. You've reached there, become whatever it is it will take you to sustain yourself in that place. Take responsibility for your life and stop blaming somebody that did not help you. Okay, so um, when you're dealing with your children, because you are the one who raised them, you have raised them with some standards and some foundation based on how you were raised yourself, you know how to communicate and you know what is expected. Mm. But when you make promises to other people, the reason why they say in driving, that if you are driving, you must drive for the other person, is yeah. the other person across the room may not have sense. Hmm. So as you are driving, you are still driving. Yesterday I was on my own. Somebody just came and hit me. He slept off. Wow. And then he came down and started begging. I, I was at a loss. I didn't know what to do. So if not that, uh, and we're packed, oh, we're stationary. So it wasn't the case of my driver not driving for him. Yeah. We're packed. So that happened. That's a different thing. Now, if you're driving on the road, you must assume that the next person may not have sense, may supposed to be in a, a what's it called? Yaba left. Yeah, yeah. Yes. That's your assumption so that you drive well, you save yourself and you save that person. When you make promises, one, do not overpromise. And once you make promises, you must fulfill that promise. And I know that's where these boys are holding on.
So if in your promise there were clauses that you said, I will support you to set a certain level, and I expect you when you get there, get a job, yeah. forget about telling them what to do. People need to be told what to do if you see that, if you are the one giving that help as an outsider. Your children, you expect them to have sense, right? Don't go around expecting everybody to have that sense. So you make it clear because it will come back to you tomorrow that these are some of the things you should have put in place that you did not put in place. And then your good is not evil spoken of. So in doing that good, do not be in a hurry. You must clarify how to the extent you want to go with your good. So I send you there. I give you a year or two to settle in, get the campus and everything, get your books ready and all that. By the third year, you must get a job. Get a job so that you're supporting. I'm sending you the little I can. You're, you're supporting. Let me know. And you follow through in the process. But well, nobody can now, ever wait, predict wait. these things. No, this it's not about predicting. Because, because let me tell you why. I'll come back to you. Let, let me tell you why. Because if I, if I sponsor you today, and I <laughs> think that oh, I have the money, tomorrow something happens. That's why you have this first majority. Uh -huh. because anything can happen. Maybe my business <laughs> got burnt. And I, yeah. So I didn't wait <laughs> for two years. I didn't, I didn't expect maybe in two, three years to take a job. Yeah. I expect I'll give you money. So... Yeah. Next week, yeah. I'm already bankrupt. Yes, but if you had had the conversation that I will support you to this level and you would take off from here, you start adding your own from here. If anything happens and you explain, because that person's mind is already positioned that at some point, I'll have to do something to support back, right? They can decide to take up immediately because of what has happened to you. But if you support with the promises of I got you, Anyhow, anything you're doing, don't worry. We will take you to the end and bring you back home. That's and we'll take you, friend. bundle you to your parents. Mm -hmm. You have not given them an opportunity to even process doing an additional to support you. That's where the problem is. And forget the fact that these people um, have entitlement mentality. When a promise is done and reneged upon for whatever reason, people always get offended. Now, I like the fact that Miriam reminded us that these children were not allowed to... Um, you know, learn the lessons. There's something they say in um, all these our universe people that be careful how you help people so you don't carry their karma. There are people who are meant to go through a certain process. And in the bit of, I want to help, I want to help, you block them from going through that process. It comes back to not only bite them, it will bite you yourself. So as someone who's spiritual, a man of God, uh, whoever you are, you must be discerning in how you want to help. Okay. Let's leave the euphoria of, I want to position myself, I'm the good philanthropist. Yeah. You must be discerning so All that right. this sort of things. Let don't... me take this call that comes to you, Mary. Good morning, Hope. You're live. Thanks for calling. Good morning. Yeah, I want to contribute on what you are saying. I learned before that uh, the man of God has a genuine reason and a genuine plan for this to do. Mm. I, 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 I work in an office. They take a child to send a child to go and study in the U.S. When immediately the boy got there, he starts doing all that thing because the visa goes along with the work, uh, work permit. So these children, I think something, something is after them. Because for, the, for you to see somebody that even make that access, it's not your father, it's not your religion, and send you abroad, you say that you're wearing big uh, abada, doing big boy, and leave your feet up. I don't blame the man of God. The only thing I, I would blame with the man of God is that if you cancel the this with the father, God has mercy. For those Thank boys, you. something is wrong with them. Mm. Thank you very much. Yes, Mariam. So I want us to all agree that we know that the pastor had good intention. And we have talked about that. So let's right. put that aside. Let's just move on to the next conversation. Because I know that when you make a point now, they'll say, are you saying the man was wrong? That's not what I'm saying. But what I understand scholarships. Um, is that you either give full scholarship, part scholarship, or you yes. say to someone, I'll pay your fees or I'll pay your boarding and feeding. You know, you make it known. You yes. would put it down. And then if you said to these children, you have full scholarship, go there, whatever your needs are, schooling, boarding, feeding, clothing, I've got you. They will come back to you and ask you. You know, we... As parents or people who have been abroad, we know children who, once they get there, even before they get there, I remember my classmates who had to go abroad, they were already talking about friends who were already living abroad, the kind of jobs they would get, because they knew that they did not have the parents that they would have to come back to. But we have some that did not even have that conversation because they knew that their parents got them. They would pay full for boarding, feeding, and everything. It's okay. Now look at the um, caliber of people we're talking about here. You took them from being security guards. 
I don't know if they went, what kind of primary, secondary school education that they got. I don't know how much the exposure is about going abroad and living abroad and schooling abroad. So, and you know, the general mentality for a Nigerian is once you go abroad, you're blown. <laughs> so to see them in Agada standing in front of Mercedes Benz, I feel that that's normal because given a certain mentality, you feel I have crossed the border, I have blown. But then there's a daily life, the truth of it, there's everyday life. Now that's where the question is. So now they're asking, this master is giving me full scholarship. Where's the rent? Where's the, where are the fees? So they're asking the question. Mm. The pastor, I feel, I still am looking through the conversation. I did not see anywhere, or maybe he would be able to tell us later on, where he said to them, I can only pay for rent or I can only pay for school. You have to look for a job or I can no longer afford to do this right now. I will make sure you get back so you go back to school. He didn't clarify. He did not clarify. Let me pause you for a second. Oh. Hassan has been holding for a minute. Sorry about that. Hassan, thanks for calling. Go ahead, please. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Go ahead. Please, uh, Maria, we have got it all. We have said it all. There's no better way of saying it than the way you say it. Look, let me tell you one thing. We've got it wrong. We just have to be. <coughs> Asking people on the back when they do something wrong. You are shaming their employer. Somebody cannot be dancing with first of all. Then somebody will come and say, I will stop you this. We are saying to the whole world that what they did was right. That is one thing. Number two, you don't send people to school abroad, you know, and you are not ready to pay for the full school fee from. One to hundred. That is one thing. You cannot come and tell them that I'm broke now, I don't have money. No. The school fees are well stated. You knew. You don't jeopardize the future of anybody. Good morning. Thank you very much. Let me come back to you. Yes, I was going to give an example. I remember someone once posted on social media that her lady who comes to make her hair. She noticed that she would come with her child that was of school age. Mm. She asked, why is she not in school? She says, oh, I don't have money for the fees. And she gave the money for the fees to her. Mm. And after much deliberation, she gave her the money for the fees. And then after a few times, she noticed the girl was to come. She says, you do not take her to school. She says, ah, we have not eaten. The money you gave us, we used it to eat first. At least now we are eating. <laughs> so she felt upset. I gave her money for fees. So I'm not going to help anymore. I gave her money to pay fees. That's what I gave her the money for. So in that case, I know you had good intention, but what's the mother supposed to do when she finally got some money? Yes, the reason you saw her there was because she not pay for fees, but there were other underlying cases. So sometimes, even in our giving, may we not be too proud. I think Nima has given us several may examples we, of yeah, this before. May we not be so proud mm. that we have done so much. So <coughs> let us not make it so much about mm. ourselves, you know? It's not about the way that we look on the outside or the way that people... I, so I'm not taking away the good intention, mm. but sometimes some of the help that we give may not be the help that person okay, is so let's talk about the learning curves because I was going to say the, the part of now we know if you're going to, if you're going to be giving a scholarship mm -hmm. to anybody as a philanthropist or as a um, somebody who, Nigerian government let, let, how how we must I want to even yes, go there yes, yes. I want to go there we send people That's abroad, to, a, abroad and they could not they can't sustain it anymore yes um, and, so and it's very very detailed wrong. in yes. what the level of scholarship yes. so we're getting. generally yes I feel that if you want to send someone if you're sponsoring someone to school do it in a place where it is hundred percent convenient for you do it in Nigeria to send them to a local school, a public school, where no matter what happens, you can you sustain it. I know aesthetically it would be nice to say, oh, I sent the person abroad. But we also don't want a case where you say something happened and you cannot fund it. As a government, we should stop doing that scholarship abroad if thing. Because it. in most cases, we, are, we, are we rarely pay. Yeah. All it's things. dollar now. There are many, it of, them, easy. many of them. Many of the people that they, they're promising. They let them stranded. They, they let them stranded. Oh. Several of them Let me take this call from Erekwa. Good morning, Erekwa. Yeah, thanks for calling. Yes, good morning. You're live. Go ahead, please. Yes. Uh, my own take about this, I know the, I've worked with the pastor personally. Um, I've had an opportunity of having a scholarship program here. Um, two months ago, the pastor actually mentioned specifically on Facebook. He said he could not get up for the needs of students in Canada, Cyprus, um, America, U.S., because of the dollar. So what he would actually advise them to do was that either they stop schooling, relocate to Nigeria, 
and continue their education with a transcript at the National Open University or get a job in the country. He mentioned it on Facebook. I think those happy boys were just very ungrateful because they, they felt very excited because I know daddy, daddy has been pumping there with money. He will definitely be pumping you with money. Hmm. I know him very well. He has been giving them, probably was giving them about maybe 1.5 million money because he is that kind of person. So he felt very excited and it was very wrong. Uh, I guess he was just very upset about it. That was why. And he does not get angry. If he even notices the messages, the chat, that he will not answer you what he's reading your messages. He is watching what you are saying step by step. I think right. when, when he gets angry, that's when he leaves, he, he pulls it up. Erepa, would you agree that the cousin was wrong? Because oh, obviously yeah. you have a relationship yes, yes. with him. Right, so he's, oh. he's out. Okay, so I'm happy for this perspective. Mm. At least yeah. it makes it easier to know exactly who was wrong here. You know, he had given them all the options that we even mm. discussed here. He had actually yeah, given it to them, them. Wow. but they decided that they were going to. So these are people that are so right, so there was in entitled. Yes. Um, the, we have to review the learning curves. Yeah. So, uh, uh, sponsorship, I, I, I had a call, but I think we lost the call already. Go ahead, Topin. So, when we're talking about learning curves, because we, that's the reason we're having the conversation, so that we can, what are the things we're getting from this? Um, if, you, if you've been given opportunity, don't, don't get entitled to the fact that they've given, whether you've started this good thing, you must continue doing it. Um, that, for me, is a big no-no. Whenever we, we, we have opportunities to travel, and whenever I'm traveling, I always carry things. I, if, where, where I don't feel like I did, my first trip, I didn't even have enough money to buy as many things that I want to give people. When I'm in the house, I wash the plates. I, I say it all the time, I like, when I travel, I wash plates more than I've ever washed in Nigeria, because I won't be in your house and you're feeding me, and I will not be able to wash, like, do something. We must train ourselves to be, in that way, responsible. Right. Little things that count. I also- We have to wrap oh, up. I, want, I, don't, I, I don't want to, I don't want, yeah, we have to wrap up on this, but I think it's important it. for us to touch on the curse part, because also the, okay, the okay. important part about mm. In anger, you shouldn't sin. And um, the pastor was really angry. He's a human being. Yeah, he's a human being, yes, but you know, even in our anger too, because those are some serious curses. And you know, I'm just the on the bottom of my record, belly. Don't record the curse. Weight. Yeah. The lesson can be done when you are angry, and I don't record the cost. He recorded the cost. It was a voice yeah. note. Yeah, it was, yeah, you shouldn't and have cost by a voice. Maybe you should have cost by a phone cost. So What's the difference? To... They will still record the cost. You know, for me, I, I think that people like that with their emotions. Yeah. So there are two things for me I see. Yeah, I so, yes, you know, he shouldn't have cursed. And I feel really I bad that he cost. felt the need to. So, we base that also on, on emotions. And mm -hmm. I hope that after a while, he'll be able to forgive them. But secondly, hmm, it reminds me that sometimes eh, when you're going through something now, just learn the lesson. That one, they just fired you. Now they have entered spiritual level. They have cursed you. Do you understand? Mm. You did wrong first. They fired you. Now you entered another place. Fire. You did that same wrong. Now they have cursed, cursed you. you. So wherever you are and you're facing that challenge, enjoy it and thank God for what you're facing. You don't know what the next hole will be. The meter, the bigger hole. <laughs> MFM. MFM. As with those boys, they can fire you. Wash it with blood of Jesus. Let's calm down. On the curses, they said no costless curse shall stand. Yes. Uh, we do not know the intentions of or the motives of this young people, and the, a curse will not if if they if they didn't have any wrong motive, right? The curse will not affect them mm. because have... God that is supposed to carry the curse to the person will see the motive before giving the curse. But um, the idea is, no matter how upset you are, there must be a pl see if you hold a position. That's why we always want to talk about people who have certain positions. There are certain things you must not be seen doing. No matter how upset you are, you can go into your room and pray and cry, God, I wanted to do this for these people. You see how they are paying me back. They say when you do the good and it comes back evil, don't worry. The God that will fight your battle will fight your battle. So sometimes we like to take the battle ourselves and want to fight it. It doesn't work that way. God does not respond to that. You can Hold it in, calm down, find a place where you can vent it out and relax. After a while, I'm sure he will look back and he will not be, he will not like the fact that he had cursed them. He will not like it. Our children mess up every day. We don't curse them. Some people curse them. Some people curse their children, their mm. witches. We don't curse them. We have to wrap up. I we think, mess up every I, I day. God I, doesn't curse us. I think in a nutshell, we understand that, yes, um, the boys could have, continue to find a way to either come back just like the pastor had offered for them to come back to Nigeria or either way 
we shouldn't have gotten to social media. These are, these are private conversations. This is somebody who has taken out of resources available to him to send you to school. No matter what happens, there are better ways of solving this problem. Mm -hmm. Social media is always the easiest, most, um, the quickest way for many young people to actually go and complain. And I don't blame them because sometimes they try it the other ways and nothing gets happened. That happens. Yeah, I want but to in social media, yeah. something happens. I, just also, so, I think we did not um, say something. They said the children were stranded, that they were in the cold. Mm. So they didn't have a place to stay. Mm. So they were also desperate. Mm. So they were in the cold. They had not eaten. I just feel that it's good to also say that. So they were coming from and a place of desperation. So the Nigerian offices in these countries, they have places they can go to to seek certain kind of help. I'm not sure. I don't have the details. But we will find a thousand. Somebody who needs to go. This somebody going who needs abroad help could have actually know. found some way to mm -hmm. find some kind of resource. Here, okay, that's all we can take. We're still celebrating um, your view at 10. When we come back, we're going to be um, watching some videos from some people who have um, loved our show for years and show, and they're going to be sharing their own um, greetings Aww. to the ladies of your view. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back.